guys. Welcome to Black Ops 2. I'm your host, Noam Chomsky, blah, 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 all that other stuff. I'm not very excited to make YouTubes right now. Um, this video isn't meant for entertainment or anything like that. It's meant for me to sort of get out what I'm feeling, and this is why I made the channel, is so that I can say what I want to say without people having to object every time I say something, because that's how it usually is in real life. I can't often say what I feel without other people inserting their dumbass shitty remarks all the time and I'm just fed up with humanity right now so if you don't feel like getting depressed don't watch this video if you want to watch the other Noam Chomsky the one who's excited about life all the time you know watch that because that's not gonna be this video now <clears throat> I'd say about 70% of the time, I'm usually a cheery, upbeat guy. Whenever whenever I'm with other people, I'm always trying to stay happy and, you know, put a smile up, but a lot of the time I'm definitely not happy with how things are going, and the other 30% of the time, I'm usually just stuck in my room brooding about <laughs> how depressed I am, and then I think about it more, I realize why am I depressed. There's no reason for me to be depressed. I'm an upper middle class, relatively popular person who gets everything he wants in life. And, you know, so many other people have it so much worse and I feel so bad for them. And I just think, what right do I have to be sad? What sort of crappy virtues do I have to be able to think, yeah, you know, I... I have the right to be depressed, because I don't. I'm such a terrible person, and and yeah, so right now, this the 30% of the time, that's what I'm feeling right now. I'm just not happy with how things are going, and I don't know why. I just have this terrible anxiety filling my body, and I don't know... I don't know what it, what it is, and I just thought I'd make a video during one of these, because I'd never done that before. It was always just me going, hey, let's play video games and stuff. So, again, I've said multiple times, if you if you don't want to see me be an angsty, crappy old teenager, you know, navigate away because this isn't going to be me trying to entertain you guys. This is me getting off what's on my chest and trying to feel better about it. Now, this video isn't going to be in any way some sort of lesson. I'm not trying to teach you guys anything right now, which I usually do in any of my real-life example videos. I usually try and have a moral of the video, but this one is just going to be ranting and me talking. So, again, many reasons why you shouldn't be watching this video, and all the more reason for me to make the video, because I just want to make it, and it's what's in my heart right now. Upon further analysis, I usually find that these periods of depression are spurred by some some event in my life or another that makes me sad, and this is no different, and I don't really want to mention it because it's something that's relating to somebody else, and I don't want to put them in, in the spotlight. And no, it's not Sir Gustavo, so don't think this is about you, child, if you're watching this. Um, but every single time it just makes me think, you know, <laughs> well, why am I the only sane person out there? I think that and I think, okay, what makes me think that I'm the only sane person? Why am I not like everybody else? And the truth is I am. There are probably people out there that are so much better than I am and I have no right to put myself above them. You know, people live life to be happy and that's what they should do and in doing make other people sad and I agree completely with that but I just still I can't comprehend how nobody thinks like I do and if you find somebody who thinks like you do they don't want to be around you so life is a little shit in that way and I know a lot of you think like I do because just ask yourself the question, do you agree with the statement that the world would be a better place if everybody was like you? I mean, everybody thinks that. Everybody thinks they're a great person, and I'm no exception. I think I'm spectacular, but the truth is I'm not, and 
losing this the fight. fact that the human race is incapable of self-analysis, you know, being self-critical. Um, the fact that we're able to even understand the idea of being self-critical. Like, a dog doesn't have to be self-critical. Because they don't question those things. They don't have that sort of higher thinking that we do. And, you know, with intelligence comes the burden of knowledge. And, you know, that's... That's that's where depression comes from, and I think, and again, I'm not trying to put myself above people. This instance is sort of different in that way, but I think w you get to a point where you're too smart, and you just question everything, and it just makes you like, depressed. It makes you a sad person. You start to think just how terrible some people are to other people, and... Oh, yeah, I don't know. Okay. I guess I'm done being a Debbie Downer. Hopefully the depression will be gone by the time you guys see the next video. And so, yeah, until that time, this is your host, Noam Chomsky, signing off.